Okay, welcome back. Um, this is lesson two in our multiplying fractions unit. We're going to move from multiplying unit fractions um, such as five times one eighth, and that would give us five eighths, to multiplying five times two eighths maybe, which would give us, what do you think the answer is? Knowing that five times one eighth is five eighths and knowing that five times, what is five times two eighths? Um, so if you chose 10 eighths or because you saw that you had an improper fraction and you had one and two eighths, that would be correct. So either of these are correct. You have 10 eighths or you have one and two eighths. Um, that's the correct answer. So let's talk about that. So when we're multiplying fractions or multiplying any type of fraction, um, we can look at it as five times two eighths. We'll start with that one, okay? We can change this into five over one. This fraction right here just means that it's five holes because if five divided by one is five, right? That's just a way for us to look and visualize it a little bit easier. So then we have five times two is 10, and then we can do one times eight is eight. Again, we are just multiplying our numerator. So if this, if this makes no sense to you, don't use it. If you can look at it and you can say, if you can look at this one and say that's 10 eighths, then you're on the right track. You get to decide which one you think is the best method. But I'm going to teach you both methods so that you have them available to you. Um, so let's move on to the next one. I want you to try it out first and then give me the answer you think the answer is and then we'll check your work. So go ahead and solve this problem. Um, let's do three, oh, I need a pen, three times two fourths. Okay, welcome back. So you could have gotten three times two, which is six over four. So you have six fourths or if you're someone who's a fraction genius, you could have gotten one and two fourths, right? You could have changed it into a mixed number or you can leave it as an improper fraction. I'm fine with either answer. Now, if you chose to do it the other way where you do three over one times two over four, you or two fourths, you will know or you will see that you get three times two is six and you get one times four is four. So either way, the correct answer is six fourths, whether you did it this way or you did it this way. And if you were able to change your improper fraction into a mixed number, then you got one and two fourths or one and a half, if you're that great at fractions. Let's move on to another practice one. Let's go with uh, four times three minutes. Go ahead and solve this one. You should get 12 ninths, right? Or one and three ninths. Um, or you could have solved it like four over one times three ninths equals 12 ninths. Remember, either way of solving is correct as long as you ended up with one of these answers. Okay, moving on to the next one. 
Let's do um, five times Sorry, my, um, oh no. I'm going to take a pause here really quick. Okay, after a little bit of technical difficulty, we're back. Five times, let's do four tenths. So, you came up with 20 tenths. Ooh, this one's interesting. If I can, if I know that a fraction is a division problem, I can do 10 divided by 2, or 20 divided by 10. 20 divided by 10 is 2, okay? Or, you could have come to this conclusion um, if... 5 over 1 times 4 over 10 equals 20 tenths, or it still equals 2. So if you answered with 20 tenths or 2, you did a great job and got the correct answer. Let's do one more. Um, I hope you're getting the hang of this. I hope it's not too difficult. Um, again, we'll have a homework lesson if we need some practice with this skill. So here's your last problem to solve. Let's do 6 times 2 fifths. Six times two fifths. So that equals twelve fifths, or two and two fifths. Or we could have solved it as. Remember, you can leave it as an improper, or you can change it into a mixed number. It is your choice. So now, what I would like you to do is answer the next question, which is, how are you feeling about this? Are you feeling great? Do you need a little bit more practice? Or are you still completely lost? Answer that honestly for me, and then go do your problem set and your exit ticket, and I will see you at 1045. Have a great day or have a great time in math. Bye.